federal government have cautioned labor to be reasonable and accept what the government is offering because what they are requesting for would force people to losing their jobs. So the government is saying, if we pay anything beyond 62,000 naira, people are going to start losing their jobs. Not just at the federal level, at the state level, at the local government level, within the private sector. So they have to consider accepting the offer of 62,000 naira that the government wants to pay. Meanwhile, local governments nationwide under the umbrella of Algon have come up to say that they will not be able to pay 62,000 naira as the government is offering labor union. Now, this is after the governors have come out to say they will not be able to pay that. But the difference now is Algon is not is not proposing any fee. In fact, Algon is saying that the 30,000 naira that was earlier passed, some local governments are still unable to pay. In fact, some local government are still paying 15,000 naira till date. So bringing up 62,000 naira is not possible. Now you ask yourself questions, where are all these people coming out to say they cannot pay what the government is actually offering labor to calm them down? Now there's another headline saying that a panel is proposing to get the president a new jet. And you and I know that in this country, when any panel comes up with that, they will somehow, some way get that new jet. Then you can also understand what labor is looking at to make their request. One amongst many. So local governments can pay, state governments can pay, the federal government is the only one tilting to pay. So what is the agreement about? It looks like in this country, no decision can be made anywhere because everybody wants to have a piece of the cake and they don't want their own to spoil. And that's the big problem right now. Will labor be forced now to accept 62,000 naira or continue fighting? Because even the figure that the federal government is offering, governors don't want to pay. Local governments don't want to pay. We've not heard so much about private sector. So what do you think is going to happen next?